Imagine if uh, Bitcoin becomes the only money worth anything. And then everybody's like, oh, I don't have any of it. Mm. But your, your money's not worth shit. Mm. you got to get new money. you got to get money in well, Bitcoin. That's, that's what's going to happen. And then there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Bitcoin number is finite, right? Right. right. So, like, maybe there's no Bitcoin for you. Right. What the fuck are you talking about? That's like, what's going on. Hey, family, welcome back to the channel. Aaron here coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video today. And we're going to be talking about Ethereum and the altcoins in today's video. Some really huge news here that's happened for ETH over the past couple of days. But, I mean, this crypto market has absolutely exploded. If we look at some of these cryptos, Bitcoin's up 7% over the past week. Ethereum's up 12%. We have Solana having some massive gains, up 20% in the past 24 hours, up 38% in the past week. Solana has just been going absolutely crazy a lot of people compare solana to ethereum of the last cycle so we could really see solana continuously pump the ranks potentially flip xrp and start to even compete with ethereum that is something to watch out for but as you can see here we just have been making a parabolic move here for solana i'd be very careful when investing in solana you know don't go all in right now especially when we're up super high and this is a parabolic move. We may see a little bit of a retracement for Solana before it makes another move to the upside. But just be careful if you're investing in Solana. If you check out some of the other cryptos, you can see FTX token, FTT, and Terra Luna are up huge. FTX up 258%. I'm not understanding why people are aping into these dead cryptos here. But it's very interesting to show that, hey, there's more liquidity back in the space. People are excited about getting back into altcoins, and a lot of them have been blasting off here over the past couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and jump into it here today, again, some of this recent news. And some big news, Justin Sun's owned exchange, Polynex, gets hacked for at least $126 million. So a lot of cryptos were affected by this that trade and sell on Polynex. And you can see some of the cryptos that they stole on here included ETH, Tron, USDT, TUSD, and then some meme coins, Pepe, Floki, and Shiba. So, yeah, if you do have any of your crypto on exchanges, there's always a chance that this could happen to your crypto. So that's why the Bitcoin bros always recommend to you guys, get your own wallet and hold your own keys. Don't put all your faith in these exchanges because and things like, like this happen all the time. In the crypto space, you can get a hardware wallet, check out Ledger if you happen, if you have multiple different crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, basically any crypto you can store with Ledger. And if you are a Bitcoin only, if you're a Bitcoin maximalist, you can you can use something like a cold card or a Blockstream Jade, and it's just for Bitcoin only. And they, and they are a little bit more secure, in my opinion, than like Ledger because they're open source and they have... Uh, air gapped enabled if you want to use that so check out cold card if you need a offline wallet device and then this is the big news i was talking about earlier which is absolutely huge blackrock has just filed for a spot ethereum etf this is huge for the crypto space in whole because we know that bitcoin and ethereum are fundamentally different and that bitcoin is proof of work and ethereum is proof of stake so, so if this passes this is basically the united states saying we believe in crypto and we're going to let our institutions invest in all these different type of cryptos if we see an ethereum spot etf i'm pretty sure the rest of the top 10 cryptos will get their own spot etf we could see a solana etf a xrp etf a cardano etf because all of these cryptos are fundamentally same trying to use DeFi and be that decentralized internet and it's very funny because larry fink when he was talking about crypto over the past couple of months and he was saying hey i believe crypto is a flight to safety a lot of people in the space thought he was talking about bitcoin because in one of his interviews he said that he could not exclusively talk about bitcoin so he'll just refer to crypto but it does look like he actually means all of crypto so will this pass if it does, this would be huge for the space, and we would probably see 
millions and millions of dollars flow into a Ethereum ETF and potential Solana ETFs and other ETFs in the future. This is absolutely huge. This is institutional adoption and it's coming very quickly in the United States. And just talking about ETH here again, ETH is deflationary again with $48.5 million worth of ETH burnt over the past seven days. That is a strong sign of market participation and activity returning. So ETH has actually been looking very deflationary. That's definitely good to see if you're an ETH holder. And some of the price predictions we've seen out there from Ethereum has just been absolutely astronomical. A lot of people believe Ethereum could go to $25,000 this cycle. I've seen some other people on crypto Twitter say $50,000. And even Kathy Wood believes that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin during this next cycle. If we see an Ethereum ETF get approved, I think it's more likely than not that Ethereum does outperform Bitcoin, just given that Bitcoin's market cap, if you look at it, it's around 727 billion and Ethereum's is 250 million or 250 billion. That means that the Bitcoin market cap is already three times bigger, around three times bigger than Ethereum's market cap right now. So it takes less money for Ethereum to grow in a bull market than it would Bitcoin. If, if Bitcoin does a 3x, that puts it at around 2.1 trillion. But if Ethereum puts that, does a 3x, that puts it at 750 billion. So Ethereum probably will outperform Bitcoin, in my opinion, in the next bull run, if the Ethereum spot ETF gets approved. And I think it will because that is BlackRock a filing for that. And there's a lot of other ETFs uh, pending approval also for the Ethereum ETF. And then checking this out here, this was another huge thing for crypto. The U.S. House passed an amendment limiting the SEC's authority to carry out enforcement actions against Bitcoin and crypto companies. A lot of people are saying Gary Gensler is incompetent. And Tom Emmer has been somebody who's been very pro-crypto, pro-Bitcoin, saying that, hey, Gary Gensler is not being transparent He's kind of just being very vague in what he's trying to do with crypto. But now we're finally seeing Congress act and get some bills passed that say, hey, SEC, you don't have the authority to do what you've been doing here over the past couple of years, which is really good to see. And it's a big step forward for the crypto space in the United States. And check this out here. This is Anthony Pompliano talking about his prediction on crypto over the next couple of years on Fox Business. Let's go ahead and play the clip. Consensus, capital will flow in and prices will go up. Do you think there's enough interest in Ether per se? I think that people are drastically underestimating how big the entire crypto market is going to get. Bitcoin will remain the king of that market, but many of these assets are going to get much, much bigger and will be measured, I believe, in tens of trillions of dollars across the entire crypto market. So tens of trillions of dollars flowing into the crypto space. That would be absolutely huge if we're looking at a market cap of just above one trillion right now, 1.4 trillion. That would be around an eight to nine X. So we could really see a lot of these assets pump astronomically if we go to a $10 trillion market cap anytime soon. And then checking this out here, this is some TA from Peter Brandt. He says, my recommended to traders is get yourself a cup of tea, sit down and get a handle on US tech stocks. This is the QQQ. And a lot of times, if the QQQ is pumping crypto and Bitcoin pump right along with it. And we see this cup and handle pattern playing out here in the QQQ. What does that mean? That's a very bullish sign that we're going to break out to the upside here for the QQQ and start to see some new all-time highs. And that's definitely going to play its part into the crypto market as well. It's just going to be more liquidity for crypto to blast off and for Bitcoin. So this is good to see. Hopefully we see the QQQ blast off to the upside. And I think if the QQQ is bullish, it'll make crypto bullish, but crypto definitely outperforms. And then I do want to leave you guys with this clip here talking about Roblox getting into NFTs. This is really, really huge for the crypto space. Again, I mean, there's just so much bullish news out right now for crypto guys. It all looks really good. But check this clip out. I'm going to leave you guys with this one. So make sure to hit that like button if you found any value in today's video. Let's go ahead and play the clip here. See a moment where the platform itself becomes more open in the idea that, you know, your currency is something called Robux. And whether those Robux could be used off platform, whether we've talked about NFTs and, and things that could live inside Roblox, but then get moved on to somebody else's platform or, you know, in, in other ways. 
Yeah, I want to I want to highlight there's there's a bit of a dream here about objects and NFTs moving from platform to platform. We do believe someday, for example, you know, I, I use the the fun use case that someday Elton John may come on Roblox and make eight or ten one unit really cool capes, for example, and sell them for charity. And we would imagine someday that those would go off platform as an NFT, possibly get sold off platform and then come back on platform. What we what we do expect is the creators, whether it's Elton John or Nike or someone else making a digital item, that they would play a key role and have a fair amount of control in that process. 